I've put all these figures into one document, so you can give it Caleb if you like. Mm. Come here. <laughs> Look at you, all excited. Yeah, well, feels good to work on something I really care about. It feels like our future. Hmm. Well, it was a beautiful place. I didn't get it before, but I can definitely see it being here. You in charge. Maybe I've been a bit unfair to Caleb. Kim. You OK? Hey. It's from a solicitor. What have you done now? Frank's will? It's like ancient history, isn't it? Yeah, I thought so. Let me see it again. A son. I thought, why now? I mean, he must be... I don't know how old of it. Frank died 26 years ago. Just says, illegitimate son. Well, if he wasn't in the will, he ain't got a claim. I know this firm. They're expensive. All lawyers are expensive. Yeah. Well, whoever it is knows there's money. Yeah, your money. That you made. It's uh, never as simple as that. How much do I need to have paid a lawyer before they answer their mobile? Why is this guy waiting until now? Well, I've read the same letter as you. How the hell should I know? What? Did you have fun looking at the horses? We're having a bit of a crisis. It's not a good time. Anything I can help with? No. Just go. OK. OK, um, it's not as straightforward as you may think. Go on. <sighs> well, in my defence... Oh, always a reassuring way of starting a conversation. I'm about to tell you something here. It's important. <sighs> I wasn't in the, the best place when Frank died. It was stressful. A large part of Tate Holdings was left to me. But Chris and Zoe were both shareholders, and <laughs> they weren't the sort of people you wanted to do business with. They were a mess, the pair of them. While they did everything to run the business into the ground, I had to look after myself, which I did. How? I, uh... I removed money while they were distracted with their affairs and their feuds and their violent tantrums. <laughs> Call it a rainy day fund. When I left, everyone thought I was running away with a bit of stolen cash I'd buried. And it doesn't matter where I buried it. The point is, when Chris died and Zoe left, I retrieved everything I'd squirrelled away. And it was a lot. It was a lot of money. So this letter, this person sniffing around the will... <sighs> I don't need someone opening closet doors, Will. Cos once the skeletons start falling out, it could start to look very spooky round here. Ah. Shh! All this mm. person, this chancer, seems interested in is the will. Ah. Ah. And the I said, shut up! There's a clause. Oven's on. See, the pizza are all one of those pasta bake things. You realise there could be more? What less? Illegitimate heirs. Not the expression I'd use, but Frank was Frank. What are you doing? I've got a database of old employees, secretaries, gophers from back in the day. Anyone he might have found time to get pregnant. <laughs> you know, he had the snip, then had it reversed. So, plenty of opportunities. I was his secretary, never paid to wear rose-tinted spectacles when dealing with Frank. I've been counting back. Now, 
the youngest he could be is 25. But it could have happened any time, I mean, even before we were married. So, could be in the 30s. And the mother's still likely to be around. I wouldn't get too obsessed. I'm just worried that if we let this person set a precedent, then more will crawl out of the woodwork. And it'll just keep shining a spotlight on everything, the whole money trail. Did you get through to your lawyers? And? Well, he has his view. And you've got yours. I don't mind him tying this chancer up in knots for a while. But in the end, you can't deal with people like this by negotiating. No, nah, no negotiating. Yeah, I wasn't born yesterday. I am going to hide so much money so quickly. By the time he gets past that lawyer, there'll be nothing left for him. Nothing. <laughs> 